filming your swings with your mobile phones and your smartphones. Now these days with tool professionals, just about every single tool professional is filming their swings with either their little tripods or phone holders or the caddies are holding them. They're looking at them just before they get to the first tee even sometimes. You'll see Jordan Spieth do that a lot. A lot of the guys that I teach, they send their swings to me. People are sending their, you know, the players are sending their swings to their coaches. So in, in this series here or these videos here, we're going to show you exactly how to film your swings, exactly how to use these, these apps and it's going to give you a, a great chance to, once you get your hands on really good information about the swing, to get in there and really teach yourselves. In fact, you, after watching this and getting into the platform, you'll be able to teach somebody else. So guys, let's get stuck into this. You're going to really enjoy it. We're going to take you through what lines to look at, what the tool pros, what the great players are doing when they're looking in their phones and using these swing apps. So ladies and gentlemen, here we are, and we're going to show you guys how to film your own swings with the use of your mobile phones and get in there, have a look at the corresponding videos, fix up your slices, fix up your pitching, whatever area that it is that you want to do. And I'm going to show you how to set up your phones and some of the devices that we can use, which so many people around the world are using. Very simple, very cheap, very, very effective. So let's now have a little bit of a closer look how we actually use these things. So guys, when you're looking at filming your swing, this is probably the most common way. It's just one of those really lightweight, fold up tripod things, they, they fold up so small it's quite amazing, I'll show you that later on. There's a little bit of a phone holder thing here on the top that fits all phones, right? So you can have a look at our, on the website there and we've got some recommended products for you. Now, I'll just come in a bit closer, I'll just show you that, and then we sort of see this thing, this thing just sort of screws on up here, this screws on up the top, all right? Now, I've just taken the liberty to do it before, it only takes a couple of seconds. Now, when you get your phone, all right, let me just pop it in, pop it in here. Okay, so from here, I'm pretty much ready to go. Now, you can set your phone up on, on this angle here if you're filming from the front view. It sort of it gets a bit wider. Some people don't. Some people set it up on the side. There's a little, there's a little sort of an, a bolt here on the side. You just, you just loosen it, and then you just pop it on the side. So that would be, from this angle here, that would be your sort of down the line position. Okay, so from here, you, what you do is you just pop it on video. Now, you might be filming it in slow motion or, or normal speed. And yeah, very, very simple way. As I said, fits all phones, only costs a couple of dollars, really, really, really cheap. And they fold up really small and they come in these little bags and you can just, you know, you can pop them in, you can pop them in your bag. I'll just fold it up just to, just to show you guys actually how small it gets. So it's not a hassle for you to carry it around. A lot of people think they need these huge tripods. You've got most tour pros using these type of things. You can even loosen that. Fold that up, pull that on the side, take that off, chuck it in your bag, pretty easy to carry around. Let's have a look at a couple more now. This is a little interesting device here, it's just uh, attached to a tour stick and um, very fast, very easy to use. Take the phone out, you know, we slide this thing out of there. You just simply slide the tour stick through, okay, and then you open that up, get the phone on video, pop that in there, fits all phones, pop it into the ground, okay, set it up on the angle that you want it and you're ready to go. So it's also a great little device and a lot of people are using this one. You can also pop it in if you've got a bag, you can also and just balance it in the top of the golf bag, maybe you've got a tour bag or even the carry bags, they sit up and balance and you can pop it in there. Great little system, another way at filming your swing for your self-evaluation. This is also another way, these little monkey grip type of things where you can film your swing with here. So you can see that I've just, they're really great. You can wrap that around the iron or the head of the club, all right? So, and then you can get in there and just pop it in the back. All right, turn it around, get it nice and straight. This thing bends around all over the place. From there, you can get in there, press play, off you go. You can also slide it down onto this angle. You can also just set it up, put a couple of golf clubs in there so it stays, you know, it's not moving around. But it's another great little tool, uh, very affordable and a very effective way for filming your swings if you're looking at analyzing or self-analyzing your own swing. Guys, here we go. We're gonna set up the, uh, your mobile phones, your smartphones here. 
what I've done is I've just popped in a couple of golf clubs. You can use your alignment rods or your tool sticks. Everybody's got golf clubs here. I've got one running parallel to my target line, okay? And then I've just made a simple like a T with the other golf club here, a T position, and the phone or the camera should be just set straight across from that extension from the middle of the chest. It's important, guys, because, you know, when you're analysing your swing, if you get the cameras in incorrect positions, it, it does make it a little bit tricky sometimes to get the best self-evaluation out of your videos. So this is a, a simple system. Don't uh, underestimate it. Even advanced uh, coaches and players, uh, when they're just throwing a camera in, they can also get it uh, incorrect or not in the best position. Only takes a, a few seconds to get yourself set up and then you can get your smartphone or your mobile phone directly across from the middle of the chest and you're in a great position. So guys, now we can see that the, the phone is off center over in this position rather than across from the middle of the chest or this extension line here. And often it'll have the appearance that the ball's uh, too far back in the stance and it just makes it a little harder to self-analyze or evaluate your swing. So just making sure from this direction here, if you're getting that type of angle, get it across, straight across from the middle of your stance, the middle of your chest, right out in front of you. And then in this type of position here, we're setting the camera up simply too far behind us and we'll have the, the effect or give the appearance that the ball position's simply too far forwards. So making sure that we're not getting that type of look, guys, directly across from the middle of your chest with your T-system, the shaft running parallel to the target line directly across from the middle of your chest is the optimal position from this front view. Setting up your smartphones and your mobile phones from the back view is important. Okay, so I've just popped in a couple of golf clubs here running parallel to my target line. Okay, and what we do is once we, once we take our setup, you're trying to get the camera on about the, an extension line from, from your toes or from your hand line. Okay, so you're getting directly straight back from this direction. If the, if the cameras or the phones popped out too far on this side, you'll have the appearance that the club's taken too far on the inside, and if it's too far behind you, you'll have the appearance that it's taken too far on the outside. So you're just trying to set up a couple of clubs. You're trying to get yourself into a position here where the lens or the phone is set up. If there was a laser light coming out of the back of the right hand, it would run straight into the camera lens. And right now we're gonna have a look at a couple of incorrect camera positions. So the camera is obviously in this position set up too far in front of us and that will give the effect that the swing is simply moving a little bit too far around on the inside. In this situation here we have the camera set up too far behind us and from here when we're swinging we'll have the effect that the, cl the club will be going simply too far on the outside and when the cameras obviously aren't square it's just not quite as good as when they are square. So guys, take the time to get these cameras set up in the best possible positions. 